So I'm almost to town. I uh, gotta stop in, like I said, and get some parts. I uh, just got a call from my son saying that uh, one of the machines that I fixed yesterday just crapped out again. And it sounds like it's a solenoid again. So that's what I get for using used parts. Um, it's kind of the name of the game though in bowling. If you have a used part that still has some life in it, you use it and at least it got us through leagues last night. Um, so I'm gonna stop at the store and get me a new soldering gun because mine uh, is no longer valid, usable. So I'm hitting here at uh, Baumgars, one of my favorite stores. This is how disorganized I was. I went and bought a brand new soldering iron over bomb cars. Then I was in the back and I found this old beauty. So I guess I'll take the other one back. Um, as you can see on the solenoid. So my wire's pretty old. I think next time I change one of these out, I'll probably have to get a new extension wire probably have to order one but uh, right here on the side you gotta solder your black and your white and then put it back in the case that uh, bolts to the top of the machine and then this right here will, will hook to the connector and that's what resets the machine well let's try this again we came in yesterday and switched out the solenoid and I used that old one like I mentioned earlier and it crapped out during uh, the last few minutes of leagues last night. I thought it made it through. So I've put together a brand new one. Gonna get up there and put it together. And hopefully that'll solve the problem. We got a big tournament this Saturday that's gonna be all day and these machines are gonna go all day. So hopefully we can get them to make it through that tournament. This is always the funnest part. So you got your electricity going through here. And your, your plugs underneath. So always fun trying to find the plug. That only took a minute or two to get it up in there. Well, that's <sighs> clear off our stuff. <sighs> All right, let's give it a Whirl and see if it'll reset now. Who no. Who no. You see that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so that old cord that I was using from the solenoid that I put on yesterday. I had taken off about an inch 
of cord to get to some new wire because the, the jacket was a little crispy. Well, apparently I should have went about two inches, maybe three, because when I put it back together, I must have bent the uh, black or the white wire enough and the jacket was still crispy enough that as soon as I hit power, it arced and just fried, fried the wire. Thank goodness it didn't destroy the solenoid. So apparently when that uh, jacket on that wire cross-connected and sparked on the, over here, it screwed up the relay in the box. So now we get the fun of changing out the relay. By this time I was so frustrated of taking these apart, putting them back together, taking them apart, putting them together. I just gave up on the video. So um, when all was said and done, everything worked great.